<clears throat> says we're live. You. Yep. So while we're checking for the sound, we'll go ahead and give all praises or call halayim to Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Of course, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, He is. That's the Heavenly Father's name. Yahweh Shai is Rakah is the Rakah Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son. He is the deliverer. Rakaha Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. That's the comforter. That's what guides us in all truth and understanding. And uh, double honors to our elders and apostles. A great millstone that came back in the reincarnation, known as as a great millstone. All right. In the English and in the Hebrew, that would be Gawala Rakab. All right. Give me one second. Yes, sir. We're going to get started on this topic here. Uh, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? All right, we have we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? All right, and this is a question that is asked um, almost with a carnal mindset in a sense because what we have is present, you know. Uh, let's get that scripture first. We have no cure. We have no continuing city. Oh, let's see. Did the, did the stream look like it was sound? Did the sound was okay? Yeah, cut. Okay, cut. Did the, did the stream look yeah. like it was sound? Oh, yeah. All right, cut. What's that? Hebrews? Uh, uh, Hebrews 13 and 14. Um, yeah, Hebrews 13. But uh, it says, For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Let's see. Can I read it one more time? Yes, sir. It's Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, uh, For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And let me, uh, uh -huh. when you look, when you look at the uh, NLT version of it, it says, for this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. And that home yet to come is what? The new Jerusalem. Okay? New Jerusalem. Uh, the new earth, new heavens, new earth. That's the new, that's just the same earth just refreshed with the, with the proper rulership that's uh, running the earth now. You see, because Esau will be the end and Jacob would be the beginning of it that followed. But right now, even though we're on the earth, it's not our home because the wicked is running it. You know? Huh. So going back to that question, what shall we have there for? Let's let's go to that quote. All right. Because now we've set the tone with um here there is no continuing city. All right. America <clears throat> was not built to last forever because of the way it was built, you know, in the first place. All right. So in, anything that falls in line with that or uh, even seems remotely close to it, you should want to prioritize last or get away from, you know, because then that's going to interfere with the city to come. All right. So this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. It says, then Peter is then Peter and said unto him, then answered Peter or Shemaiwan and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. And can you get that uh, in Philippians? We have a count of all but dumb. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm already here. Yeah, yeah, where's that at? Uh, Philippians 3 and 8. Yeah. It says, uh, yea, you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach. So the Apostle Paul wasn't here when uh, Yahweh Shai was was uh, about to answer and have this intercourse with uh, Peter. But you see that he had the same mindset it was given to him. All right. Which is at any time uh, uh, at the drop of a dime, a separation that has to come between, you know, Babylon and what assimilates what appears to be uh, like Babylon. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, what's in the spirit? 
That's why Yahweh is going to answer him in such a way. Again, it says, Then answered Peter, said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Right. Some brothers have uh, businesses. Some women have businesses. Mm -hmm. have children. Certain things established. Right. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Regeneration means reincarnation. Re again, gene, meaning or gene, a gen, genation or gene going back to gene. Let's look that up real quick. Because mm -hmm. our people, when you have when you have that church mindset, it's you think you're gonna die and then you go somewhere forever. You're never you're never gonna see your loved ones again until you get there, and hopefully you get there. But there's a regeneration. Yep. There's a re reincarnation is is in the scriptures. All right. It says a new birth, a reproduction, a renewal, recreation, regeneration. That's why the Lord said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The whole earth isn't going to be destroyed. That's right. The renewal of the world to take place after its destruction by fire, as Stoics taught, which this is along the truth. All right, the renewal of the world to take place after its destruction. All right, and that's what the scriptures talk about. And he saw New Jerusalem coming down from heaven. So what Yahweh Shai is saying here is making more sense. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Now you got to realize this was on the table here, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. This was your reward. Mm -hmm. And it goes on. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, that's physical, or brethren, physical, that's friends, actual brothers, family, sisters, father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake. And that's the main thing that we want to talk about. Because there's a lot of you in these other congregations that you know the names, but you're ashamed because of peer pressure or maybe you believe certain things. Mm -hmm. And not everyone else believes it, which you're wrapped up in this thing. And it might be because of the names. Here it is. You believe in the names, but this is the spirit that you can't leave. You don't want to forsake. Yeah, I actually got a scripture for that. Mm -hmm. You see, I had this on full screen. <clears throat> it's in John. It's in John. Let me get uh, share the screen with you, bro. Uh, Yes, sir. Okay, come on. Let me see how I can... Uh... I think I can do it. Share screen. Yeah, if you just take the link. Yeah, I can share screen. I can share the screen. Okay. Con. You got it on. Right. Con, this is uh John twelve and verse um forty one. These things said Isaiah or Isaiah, when he saw his glory, speak of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. They believed, many believed on Yahweh Shai. It said, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of Yahweh. Straight up. You have many people, in the, in, you know, it's not just the chief rulers this go around, because it can be used for anybody. You know, Israelites now, they believe on him, but because of the Pharisees or because of other people that they're associated with, they did not confess him. You see, why? For fear of other people being put out of the synagogue, losing your place, losing what you got. As I said, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. Losing their particular office or, or job or whatever, they don't want to uh, lose that position, so they'll rather not say anything, even though they secretly call themselves believing. But really, that's not really true belief. When you think about it, that's not really true belief. True belief is stepping out on faith for real. Without faith, it is impossible to please the heavenly Father Yahweh. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So that's what the Lord is looking for. You see, you got to be willing to think in your mind that the hell with losing everything else. I'm going for the Lord. And in turn, you're gaining something, bro, because 
like the Lord said to the rich man. I keep going to this example. He said, okay, uh, um, keep the commandments. And he said, okay, I've done all these. And the Lord said, okay, sell what you have, your physical things, and follow me. He, he, he didn't just say, sell what you have, and that's it. He said, sell what you have and follow me. See, so you're still going to get something from the Lord. You see? Going back to that scripture I had again, bro. Mm -hmm. Matthew 19 and 29, it says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, which the name is Yahawashah, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. That's also on the table. Mm -hmm. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. All right. And just like Job, he got all that back twofold that's to be hoped for and then to live forever mm -hmm. you gotta you better consider your ways you people out there in them other congregations who actually believe in the truth and what we're saying but you're still amongst a wicked congregation look we're not asking you to come to us just do your own thing you better start building a relationship with Yahweh about shmiah was shy and start to separate this is luke 9 and uh 23 it says and he said to them if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me All right so this is the thing that needs to be happening daily daily examination you know mm. are, are are my actions in tune and in line with you how about shimmy i was shy as i'm putting on this purple shirt you know or the or these shades or in the sunglasses all right the brother dropped off. I'm gonna keep going through the spirit. So it's a it's a warning to y'all. This is just a clear, this is just a warning. Because you ask if, if the question was, what shall we have since we've forsaken all? This is what you can't forsake. Immortality is on the table. You, you people who believe in these other congregations, and we know you're out there. This is just an example. We only used you as an example because you just put these things out for out here. I mean, it's just too easy. Yo, you, those of you that believe, you know, <laughs> look, this man look like he's sighing and crying. <laughs> like, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. You're not denying yourself. Let's look up that word deny in Luke 9 and 23. What does that say? Maybe the brother will get back on here. Let me just shoot him the invite again. Let's look up the word deny. All right. So lucky. Let's go back. Got the brother back on here. I'm looking up the word deny here where it said, if you deny me, you cannot deny yourself. The scripture said, you, you, can you hear me out there? Yeah, come. Come, come. Yeah, like, yep, like the uh, the other elder bro, Kasaf said, Shalom, y'all bashim al bashim kakudash, brother. Shalom, rashim, y'all bashim al shabrakatham, bashim kakudash. Jake fears man over the most high. And that was the clear example that the Rosh uh, had just read in John 12. Now that word deny there, um, it says a parne om ahi, a parne omahi. It says to deny, to affirm that one has no acquaintance or connection with, to forget oneself, lose sight of oneself and one's own interests. And that's the thing. We're not saying you can't do these things, but to mesh it with the truth, you know, and make it seem like a you know, this is what is supposed to be done for Israel. You're supposed to be a leader. This is this is horrible leadership. This is horrible guidance for the flock. All right. You're losing sight of yourself. The 90s? Of course they're going to pick the 90s. Why didn't they do the 80s? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's next. They're going to go back for every generation. Did you want to say something now? Yeah, Salaki, bro. You know, it's funny because I was still on, but the camera went out. I heard everything, but, you know, I had to reset. That was weird, but... um. Huh. Yeah, when you look up the word forsake in the etymology, it says, um, matter of fact, I, I can present. I got you, Rock. Let me add you. Uh... 
at your screen. You already sent it to yourself? Uh, Salaki, I can, um, I can take it down. Present button. Um, there it is. Yeah. All right. Like for sake, it says, uh, object to, oppose, refuse, deny, give up, renounce. And you're basically giving up the things that you learned in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not saying, like the elder said, it's not saying that you can't do these things, but at the same time, your focus, your number one focus has to be what? How about you know, shy, getting up out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. Like um, when you go to the apographer and you go to, um, what is that? Second Ezra, the uh, 16th chapter. Let me see. Yeah, it says, oh, my people, 16 and 40, second Ezra 16 and 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready for the battle. See, we got to be ready for the battle. All right. You know, this is spiritual warfare that's going to lead to physical warfare. We got to prepare our minds for this. You know, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, like never before seen on the planet Earth. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, in those evil times, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that flave away. See, it's, it's, it's still saying that we're doing these things. You may have people that's going to sell. You may have people that's going to occupy. You got people that's going to sow when you read it. All right. Oh, it didn't. I'm so lucky. It didn't switch over. See, it didn't switch over, so let me uh, I thought I could switch over. Uh, that right here, that right there. Um, second, there's um, 16, and um, you know, like I was going into, like I have highlighted, you know, we read uh, verse 40 be as pilgrims on the earth, you still have people that's going to be selling. That you got to be like he that flip away. You gonna have, have people that's buying. That you got to be like one that will lose. Mm -hmm. He that occupies merchandise. If he that have no profit, see, it's showing you that some of us are still going to be doing these things. But at the same time, your mindset got to be on the opposite. That I can lose these things. You see, and, and their mind is not on. I can lose these things. Their mind is is let's continue on how we are in Babylon. That's mm -hmm. play Israelite. That's play Israelite, but that's want to stay here in Babylon. You know? Mm hmm I'm going to bring that scripture back. I have, this uh, is a Luke 9 and 23. It says, and he said unto them, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Look, when you first found out the truth, remember how you just started cutting people off talking to you israelites out there and your other congregations that you believe the motb is the rfid but you're still going along to get along saying it's sin still uh, uh you, you know damn well you can't wear your fringes at work but you acting like you're wearing them all the time around the congregation what's the point of them at that point mm -hmm. you're gonna clear you have to clearly define your faith your belief and that's what it means to follow him and daily that's why it says examine thyself to see whether you be of the faith, whether Yahweh shall be in you. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 17 and 9. Again. Don't this look lovely to the average Israelite, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, something I want to do, right? Let me add then the brother here. Shalom. Hey, shalom, shalom. Hey, you see what I got on the screen, bro? I see. <laughs> I see this. Now check this out. You know the scripture, Proverbs seventeen and nine. It says, "He that covereth transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth the matter separateth very friends." And that's that. The point is, is that if if to the average Israelite, this looks lovely. All right, this looks a okay. But yeah. you're the reason why this is being put forth in the spirit is because there's transgression underneath again. We're talking about denying yourself for the name Yahweh Shai. That's the main gripe with this group, mm -hmm. you know, in the MOTB and, you know, the Sabbath. Because, you again, you have a lot of people in this congregation. They probably know that the Sabbath goes according to the lunar calendar. But, again, to go along, to get along, they want to seek love. But he that repeateth a matter separated very friends. And that's what eventually is going to happen. 
I got another scripture here. Um, it hop in there anytime. Uh, yeah, I got some. Uh, well, yeah, you want to pull pull it? Um, if you could pull up. Um, of course, Ecclesiastes seven. I don't know if uh, y'all brothers already brought that up. Um, right, go ahead, hit it. Yeah, Ecclesiastes seven, um, chapter seven and uh and, and eight. So, chapter seven, verse seven, and uh, in the states. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Mm -hmm. Better it is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. All right. And also, um, verse three, when you jump up to verse three, it says, well, actually, I'm going to start at two. It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning then go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. So the living, you're supposed to lay it to your heart because the thing about the house of feasting, which that's what they're doing. What they're doing is the house, the house of feasting. There's no urgency in the lot in the house of feasting. There's no, you don't, and you brothers can attest to this. We always talk about this. Um, every time you're in the spirit of mirth you learn barely nothing <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you are in a state of of um ecstasy and, and mirth is really a state of being stagnant that's why that state can't really stay like that forever you know but you actually your mind your brain your spirit starts to actually look for answers when uh mourning is involved when there's suffering right when there's death or where there's a potential of great death you know your survival instincts uh, starts to kick in like us we want to survive you know we want to live um and that's why we hang on to your whole by shimel shah and we decide that we will suffer as your house shall suffer because we know that's where we're going to find the answers in suffering mm -hmm. you know? yeah and that's and that's what it makes and that's the thing if you if you're afraid of that suffering the lord is going to force it upon you in a time where you're not going to want to suffer and you're going to want to rely on him but because you were ashamed of him now he's not going to defend you then and now uh, that's that's scary territory right there yeah and then these people harp they harp on the law the law the law and it's not just them this israelites who don't even know the israelites we're talking to you as well you watching videos here and there you know yeah but you're still going on sundays you know you still going on wednesday night you you watching videos on tuesday to bring questions for wednesday night but you don't stop going on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they out there, bro. They might not hear, they might not see this, but guess what? The spirit of manifestation, this the spirit carries it, carry it where it listed, go where it listed, like the scripture well, says. Well, you know, the scripture said, "Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind." You know, that's mm -hmm. that's that's fine, but at, eventually you're gonna have to make a this, you know, a decision. Yeah, time is ticking. You know, you can't be lukewarm. You gotta be on one side. You know. Yep. This is Exodus 23 and verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not fall in multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in any cause to decline after many to rest. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, there's nothing wrong with doing this, but when you meshing it with the truth and you putting a making it a flyer, you know, like this is what is important in the ministry, that's that's completely off. This is and, and I'm gonna take, but you know what, brother? This should go further in, just to add on. Um mm -hmm. You know, because I know, you know, we trying to, we trying to, we trying to get balanced because, and I was even saying that um, in uh, in um, spirit, I said that in the video because I was live earlier, and I was speaking about um, how Jake got to have their wits about him. You know what I'm saying? And and I and I made sure to say, hey, listen, we're not saying you got to be like ultra paranoid or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that makes this off is because it's not of the right spirit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not off the right. Because if you were in the right spirit, man, because you know sometimes we say, hey, man, you know, you could do this. Y'all could do this and not put that out there and, on the camera. But to be honest, man, there's a reason why a great millstone, first of all, is, is men. And there's a reason why the energy and the spirit that's amongst us is a spirit of grief, just like the, the spirit that was on your house shot. Because my thing is, if you can show me that the disciples, if you can, if you can tell me that this is how the disciples was moving, 
You know what I'm saying? Even oh, well, they ain't have cameras behind closed doors. If you could tell me, man, this is how the disciples was moving, man. That and then this is how you have well, you know, y'all was shouting have a woman, but you know the disciples weren't moving like that, man. Right. To move like that, to do these things to this extent, you have to be in a different spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be in a different spirit, man. The, look at the dude with the with the green uh uh, uh check this out. <laughs> check, check, check this out, bro. Look, you see the scripture at the top, Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And the spirit had this picture taken. Now I'm looking at it. Where the guy on the right looks like he's sighing and crying on his side. Where this one is kind of like he's just going along to get along as well a little bit, but he's having more fun. So it's like. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the Jake. You've got that conviction, the I spirit the of conviction, thing. you know? Like, yeah, the Jake and the white, the Jake and the white looks like, man, he. He just trying to be a part of something, man. <laughs> life is kicking yeah. his, life is kicking his ass. He just trying to be happy. But see, <laughs> the thing is, man, we we being happy, being happy in this society, man. It's a, it's it's not a permanent state of mind, man. This being happy in America is as an Israelite is not real, man. It's not real. It's not a permanent state of mind. Even when you had you with your woman, it, like it's not a permanent state of mind. We're not seeking happiness we seek his salvation which is the root of everything else man mm -hmm. yeah. you know what i'm saying that's where the you lord know. said to keep your mind at everything else will be added unto you it says be second corinthians 6 and 14 be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness again this is like a stiff warning this is an exhortation and a warning to all you other israelites out there who you're asking yourself that uh what's going to be better than this you know you got a you got a whole a huge flock of, of walking dead quite honest amongst you but you're just there to feel good you know just right. to be go along to get along that's not how israel works the scripture talks about if a brother can find it it's um now you're not supposed to have pity if the one of your uh, family members becomes enticed by another god you're not supposed to have uh, pity let me type in oh, pity yeah. let's see what happens you're supposed to be the first one to stone them and if yeah. not then you're guilty yep yeah here it is deuteronomy it says it's like 13. yeah 13 to 6. If thy brother, thy son, of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife, of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is thy own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, let, let us go serve other gods, Christ is king. That's what they say. <laughs> you know? He's more in the Christ is king spirit. He's more in the Yahweh and Yahweh Shah spirit. You can clearly tell. All right? And then it's crazy. Look, this woman looks more serious, but this one's smiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Lord's funny how he had to set up. Let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are round about you. That's our that's only our people do that. They don't have nothing for themselves. Yeah, you know? man. It, 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 come on, bro. Like it, what the hell they have going back to when Jake was in West Africa, you know. I'm like, and I'm like, right, and what the hell are they happy about? The reason why you see Jake's face is like that, man, because at the end of the day, Jake, this happiness is not real because Jake is still in major poverty. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Jake is still poor. The numbers show that that we are, we were already in the bottom of the totem pole financially, but it's even worse now. Right. You know, the Israelite man and the Israelite woman. The levels of STDs have risen up at an all-time high um, in the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? The levels of uh, adultery have risen at an all-time high. He still got to deal with adultery, man. So why would he be happy? You know right. what I'm saying? So you have all these different things going on, right? Marriage is being broken up, all this stuff. And, and you're going to be happy? It's not real. It's delusion. Yeah. And the scripture said, the Lord says, send a strong delusion. I'm, and I'm going to bring that up to you. Yeah, pull that. I'm going to finish the scripture. It says, namely of the gods of the people which are round about thee, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one other end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. So that means English. All right. And the Lord's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Shalom to the elder on the comment board. Yahweh Shah. to you. It says, thou shalt not consent unto them. Right. Thou shalt not consent. And the reason why they're consenting is because of what they see in front of the face. It's what's presented. 
You know, that's why Peter asked that question. We've forsaken all, but what shall we have? Because you have businesses, brothers have wives, kids, you know. And some brothers made hasty decisions when first coming into the truth concerning these things. And we've learned from them. That's why we're able to do videos like this and tell you how to be practical about it. Remember that Radio Shack job, bro? I'm no Kassab. Remember that Radio Shack? Oh, yeah, man. You took <laughs> we're not going to go into detail, but hey, bro, if we're not there no more. That's all we're going to say. You know? Hey, man. Brother took us back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But hey, as you know, Radio Shack doesn't even exist. So what's that yeah. say about Babylon? That's what I'm saying. Some of those cats, some of these cats, man, they don't even know what Radio Shack is, man. They're like, Radio Shack, what's that? <laughs> That's how you know you get a little older here, man. <laughs> Blackbuster. What's Blackbuster? Hey. Hey, no continuing city spirit, bro. That's that's what the video <laughs> should have been. <laughs> no uh, continuing city spirit. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him. Neither shall thy eye pity him. Neither shalt thou spare. Neither shalt thou conceal him. Right. So you sitting in the congregation, and they're praying, and every time they say Christ, you're muted. You're not saying it because you know the scriptures. Well, how does that make you feel? You're going back to your whip and start your whip, your whip up, and you're praying to your Bashmiel Shai. Please forgive me for what I'm doing. No, Jill, at some point in time, you're going to have to make a clear separation. Yep. For you believers out there in these other congregations. And again, you don't got to come to us. Just separate, do your own thing if you're a man specifically and go out and teach. This is a whole lot of able bodies. But we also understand that there's a lot of two thirds. God. Verse God. nine, but, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death. And afterwards, the hand of the people and thou shalt stone him with stones that he die and that's the judgment that's coming the lord's just going to start dropping people people are going to start uh dying suddenly <laughs> because he has sought to, tr to trust thee away from the lord thy power yahweh al by mm -hmm. which brought thee out of the land of egypt from the house of bondage and this is bondage look at this brother's face he he he, he didn't hear three when they said one two three <laughs> he didn't hear three for the smile, you know, and the Lord had this picture taken like this. So you can see the co the compare and contrast. I know you got the script. You found that scripture. Uh, uh, you know, this is uh, second Thessalonians chapter two. Um, I'm, a, I'm just, I'm going to go straight to the point. Second Thessalonians chapter two. And it says, um, chapter two, verse uh, ten. This says, and with all deceivable deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Uh, verse eleven. For and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. All right, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's the thing. They have. They they clearly have pleasure in unrighteousness because um we've been living a lie, man. I mean, you talk about all from all generation, from our generation to uh the generation prior to us, uh, what's that gen gen X, whatever, uh, and then Gen Z, man, the, the, the so-called black, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American experience has been a whole lie. It's been fabricated culture, it's been um, manufactured um, music, right? The music we listen to was, it's a, you know, what's called a, the culture of, of hot, um, uh, uh, rap and hip hop. That's a C, that was a CIA operation. You know, being in the 90s, that atmosphere that they got right there, that is a manufactured culture, man. So if you talk about back to the 90s, what are you talking about, man? We haven't really been living. We, not, we haven't been living well. So we can't go back to nothing, bro. What we're doing now, we're moving forward, but it's really we moving into who we really are. So if we're going to talk about Hebrew Israelites, back in the 90s, that's not what it means to be a Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. It's got to be something new. You know right. what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's got to be something new that we haven't seen. And what yeah, it is, is something that's coming. You know what? A lot, of the, a lot of those guys who were back in the old school from those times, they're not even going out anymore. You know, and they're they're allowing this stuff to happen. It'd be and then it's not just in this school, it'd be in other schools too. Because remember that time I don't I don't know if he was there as I know, but it was one time with me and uh Kazak, we went out and did the work in Silver Spring. Mm -hmm. And um a guy came up and he said uh he was from the old school and he was like uh, uh 
he was he was happy to see us out there. You know, he was talking about the different guys that I didn't know their names, and but we ended up asking him, "Well, what are you doing? You know, you out here, you yeah. know, just walking around, yep. and 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 you you're not doing nothing." You know, we had to check him. You know, and it's like you just go clearly going along to get along just because you moved, you stopped. That's what we were thinking. Like, so you you just down here. The scripture says, "He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved." Yeah, you have to endure everything that you've been taught and keep it up. You can't just uh, go and stop because you're catching hell in the truth and then figure at the very end you're going to jump back in. That this is not how it works. That's why the scripture said um, in Matthew, the seventh chapter, not many of that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but they that do the will of my father. Right. If they're not doing the will of the father, they're out of here. You know, it, it was okay. It was cool. You did it back then, but where are you now? Where are you? Where are you when we need you the most? You are supposed to be an elder, you know. Right. <laughs> by by that time, you know. Uh mm -hmm. I got this. Uh, this last set of scriptures here, mm -hmm. and then whatever else you uh, you Ash and got. Um, oh yeah, another thing. If you hear us say Raash or Raashim, that basically means head. Raash means head. Because uh, we're the heads of the DC camp, you know. So Raash means head, or Raashim means uh, heads through the spirit. All right. So we're going. I'm going to start here. Uh, Ephesians five or and six. All right. This is Paul's letter to the Israelites scattered in Ephesus. All right. Verse five, uh, chapter five, verse six it says, "Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because these things, before because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High." High upon the children of disobedience because at that time you had a lot of different churches just like you see all these different denominations we had different denominations for different deities back there in ancient rome all right and what israel was doing they were meshing them with the doctrine little by little so it'd be confusing you would if you were dibbling and dabbling like a lot of you are today so hopping different channels or you're part of a congregation but you really believe what the prophet's saying on the corner every time you pass them you fall into this category, all right? And if this hits you the right way, then you feel convicted, well, you better repent. Upon your hawk with dumb. I'm pretty sure you know what that means. That's right. right. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come up the wrath. See, here come the fear. Paul always made sure that he instilled that fear that was instilled in him. That's why we read he was ready to count all things but loss, because he understood what was the gain. All right, cometh upon the wrath of the Most High, of the most high upon the children disobedient be not ye therefore partakers with them let's look up that word partaker some of these i haven't even looked up but we'll look up some of these words let's look up partakers sumet sumet okos all right it says partaking together with one joint partaker of something um a little further down it doesn't say all right oh yeah well that, that scripture uh, proverbs 11 and 21 if someone wants to post that uh, verse 8 it says for ye were sometimes the darkness but now are ye light right this is darkness i'm i'm supposed to be look if again if you want date night don't polarize it what is it this is not the spirit to be in all right nah man at all this is this <laughs> This is when it comes to the truth. This is darkness. We're, and we're doing this because we want you to know that you're going to stay away. And if you hear a great millstone, and you believe don't expect us to be putting on events. The only event that we put is when we hit go live and we're on the highways and hedges or we're doing videos like this or we're going into history. That's, right. that's, right. that's, that's all you're going to get. That's why a lot of you out there you're on the sidelines bullshit and you make your little comments. You're 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 still sometimes in darkness because you don't want to be partakers. You just saw the video. The elder apostle the hard did look you have brothers that drive two hours to camp every yeah, week man. some of those guys they still got a lot of you know they still got a lot of problems uh dealing with you know just women in general so it's like that's one of the reasons why when you come into this gospel man you gotta be you gotta be solitary you gotta you gotta detox from all that you gotta get great understanding <laughs> before you get back to that you know what i'm saying so you got you got Young dudes, they're not getting the, the proper teaching, the proper leadership, and you throw in the caveat that's called women in there, man. You know this, so you know what's brother. Traps. The most, listen, the most I eventually is gonna expose the folly that's been going on in there, man. 
And I'm telling you, what's going to come out is going to be outrageous. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah, that's Luke. That's Luke 12 since you said that. Let me grab the team. Um, Luke 12 and um, started one. It says, in the meantime, it said, God knows and cares. But in the meantime, when they were gathered together, an innumerable multitude of people in so much that they trod one upon another. This was huge. Imagine people, you see in the crowds of people running. So y'all can get a visual. Something like this. Oh, these are all Edomites. But still, <laughs> a lot of you Jakes out there that you caught up with these groups, they, you look, this just the Lord can have this happen to you. All these Edomites chase after you. Mm -hmm. right. Should have typed in crowd of uh, melanated people or some shit. But you I'll get the point. <laughs> just type in a million man march. <laughs> <laughs> type in a uh, long line of churches chicken. <laughs> Yeah, man. It looks look a little crowd up for it. It's a spirit. You know, us oh, here in the DC shit. camp. But that's an old ass picture. Let me see. This, this one might be better. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, man. But still, that's a lot of people. You know, you can't see. But look what they'll line up for. You know, you know we hate yeah. And the thing is, is that if you're foolish, <laughs> if you're simple, you'll think that all these people. Just because they're dead, they're unified in one mind. And you'll be sorely mistaken. Out of those brains in there, there's hundreds of thousands of different doctrines. But Jake doesn't, Jake will see that and think that, well, that's just unity. Unity is not the numbers, man. Unity is, is coming in one mind, one accord, one truth, one doctrine. And ain't no videos here at Great Millstone. One we pride ourselves on is part of the ministry is edifying prophesying you know exhortation uh becoming a better israelite you know type video you're not going to see anything like that marches and stuff like that from us mm -hmm. all right let's go back to ephesians no, i'm sorry it says he began to say unto the disciples first of all beware ye of the leaven of the pharisees which is hypocrisy which we're good we're coming to the time of the passover which is another reason i wanted to do this video all right and um you you need to start separating as far as your faith if you're in a household where if you have a husband or if you're in a household where you have a wife and you're going along to get along and now look you got a purple shirt on and you're doing all this stuff you're in full swing wrong doctrine and uh, uh wrong belief mode but you secretly believe you watching videos on your way home from from work you know what i'm saying clearing your history in the driveway and all this other extra stuff that you got to do just to be ashamed and that's that's what yahweh shai means by being ashamed shouldn't be afraid of ashamed of yahweh by shai all right look what he had and he is he is the greatest testimony of not being ashamed he even in his prayer he said let thy will be done you know if, if there's any other way but it, it let's still let thy will be done and that's what it is you should want to be able to give up everything for, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. And that Ephraimite woman, remember that Ephraimite woman, she did that video saying in, in that that audio, one of the doctrines is that Yahweh Shah was supposed to come out of the uh, the Pacific Ocean or something like that. But, you know, and then, you know, that other group, they teach all about mermaids. So there's probably all types of stuff. Uh, you know, yeah, they... We don't know about they, they misunderstand oh, what's that second as 13 when it says and i saw that man come out of the sea because you know somebody forgot to teach him that the sea is talking about shamaya in the heavens man damn bro. Mm -hmm. see that that's what i mean li yeah. little things like that out of, of, of something you not being taught properly now you created a whole doctrine with mermaids and shit man yeah, Man, make nigga come out of the sea with vibranium. <laughs> on the, uh, to the brother on the comment board, a prisoner of hope. I am a believer of on my own. The nearest camp to me is San Diego, but I'm not able to contact them, which is understandable. 
because I'm outside of the circle. I need structure, guidance, and mentorship. Well, um, just leave a comment on uh, one of their videos. I'm not sure why you're not able to you contact them. I don't know if you don't know where their video is, um, but we'll, uh, we can always find it and uh, it can get posted, uh, reposted. I'll repost it on this, this page and you can just leave a comment on one of the videos. Now, if you're somebody who you were dealing with them and may they put you out or something, then that's on you, you know, you got to do deal with the judgment in that uh that jurisdiction as far as it is in a babylon in rank and order you know and then maybe a spirit may bring you back but if you're just trying to get in contact with them then um, just leave a, a message underneath one of their videos through the spirit and i'll try to post their page to uh, my page or maybe another brother can post it in the chat all right i'm gonna finish up here in, in ephesians paul's letter to the israelites in ephesus and may how bashmi be with you if you be of the elect all right. Cool. It says Ephesians 5 and 10, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Right. That's the whole point of being separated all right, from this place. And because when you and that's why yeah, I wish I had to answer him with this and, and bring family into it, because when certain, these things are taken from a man specifically, it brings trauma. Are you talking about taking your business away, your lands, you know? For, for the name of Yahweh Shah. That's that's everything, man. The Lord said we just needed a, a goat's milk and sheep's for just to survive. That's just the basics. You know? And this this is not acceptable as a leader in Israel, as a bishop. I'm pretty sure these people they got rank, you know. This is just also have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather reprove them, and that's why we do these videos. Because hey, we don't want to be in that. We pray to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Please don't let us be in the spirit. Nah, so this guy on the right, if you if you see this, and if you're really upset about this, then you better pray. And you, I, they probably know the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You better pray that you don't take the MOTB, because soon your parties are going to include that. Everybody, come get it. Don't worry about it. We're going to prove GMS. Don't. It's it's not about us. That's the thing. <laughs> We just speak in the words of Yahweh by Shemir You're you're gonna you're gonna be involved in some type of swindle. Because that's what a fox does. That's what a hireling does. He cares not for the sheep. Mm -hmm. So this is just a warning. It says, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. So we don't even know, like you said, some things are gonna come out. But all things that are approved are made manifest by the light. That's Yahweh for whatsoever doeth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake, thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Mashiach shall give you the light. All right, now get to verse 21 and 16, because that's what's going on. You're amongst the dead. Now, do you want to die with the dead? Do you want to get more of the sinews? The scriptures talk about so this is to the men specifically. That's right. All right. This is to the men specifically. If you're of the elect and you're in these congregations, you know good and well this basic scripture. Is feeling you, these scriptures you read, you feel convicted. So just be frank. All right. That's what the scriptures are doing to you. And these scriptures will do to you if they want to purify you unto uh, to righteousness or into your judgment. Come on. Proverbs 21 and 16, Mishalia 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right. And that's what we read here. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach Yahweh Shah shall give thee the light because that's what he is. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, man, it just keeps going. I'll just read two more. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools. All right. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right. All right. We're talking about Esau. He's ramping up Project Bluebeam. He done cranked up the generator for Project Bluebeam headquarters, bro. Yeah, He's man. throwing that card out there. So everything, shh, 20 miss February, but we midway through February, y'all. So, and the Pesach is coming up. Mm -hmm. Any more scriptures y'all I can got? The Lord's moving, man. He's moving. Um, Isaiah 64, 4, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O Yahweh, beside thee, what he have prepared for him that waited for him. That's right. That mm -hmm. links up with the other scripture. In, uh, what is that? First Corinthians, the second chapter. 
But yes, yeah, exactly that. You know, the Lord has a great um, kingdom for those that wait wait upon him and those that love him. That means giving up everything you got for his sake. You know, remember when you read Matthew, the sixth chapter, it says on earth as it is in heaven. All right. When you go to. um, What is that? Yeah. Luke 23 and verse. um, uh, 42, it says, and he said unto Yahusha, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Yahusha said unto him, verily, I say unto thee today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Now, of course, when he went to the spiritual realm, he was in paradise, but it's deeper than that because that same individual is going to be back again and they're going to be in a real paradise, which is going to be on the earth. You know? Hmm. Uh, um, I got um, <clears throat> a couple of precepts. Um, uh, what's the first one? Yeah, the first one is uh, Apocrypha. Uh, second, second Ezra chapter eight, verse six, and when you pull that up, if I could shall pull up, um, uh, that 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 image, <laughs> that date night back to the nineties, man, Jake, man, uh, God. So I'm gonna read it. This is Second Ezra chapter eight, verse six. It says, "O Lord, Jehovah Shemuel, shall if thou suffer not thy servant." that we may pray before thee and thou give us seed unto our heart and culture to our understanding that they may come fruit of it. How shall each man live that is corrupt? Who beareth the place of a man? So I'm read that again. O Lord, if thou suffer not thy servant, that we may pray before thee and thou give us seed unto our heart and culture to our understanding. So you talking about, you know, back to the nineties, you talking about, again, the black culture garbage, right? We're not blacks, you know, the culture in the, of the nineties, we remember that. We're nineties, we're basically eighties and nineties babies, man. The majority of Jake's of our generation of children are, are what, of crap, man. And gang banging, man, we know what was going on in the nineties. The 90 was the height of gang banging, man. A lot of dudes got killed, man. Families and mothers lost children. You know, fathers got killed. The drug epidemic was killing this, man. It was devastating in our so-called community. All right? That's what's, that, 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 that was going on in the 90s. Yeah, sometimes we might have went to the club and danced a little bit, but that was that was a fake, fake joy. To kind of be what? To kind of not think about the trauma of the death that was going on in the streets back in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? So that's why Ezra's was talking about a culture to our understanding. All right. So what's the culture to our understanding? It's being Hebrew Israelites. So when you say you want to go back to the 90s, man, you still a part of this world. And this fake world that was modified and created and given to you by your greatest enemy, Edom Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. So now uh, the next precept that I had was um, <clears throat> Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and 11. Chapter 36, verse 11. <clears throat> so uh, in the States, and I will multiply upon you man and beast and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. All right. So the Heavenly Father, he's going to do better, better unto us than our, what, our beginnings. Our, our beginning is who? It's our, our nationality, you know, the, the different tribes, you know. But even now, we're not going back. That's why, that's why even in the truth, we're not going back. To how we used to be because how we used to be even though we knew we were israelites we were what a rebellious nation that constantly bucked again against yahweh you know, so there is no going back to nothing we really moving forward to a new thing which has a part of how the old thing was supposed to be that has nothing to do with the lifestyle that we picked up here in babylon the great 
after we were slaved and, 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 and got all these European names and given a manufactured lifestyle, man. And then you're going to bring this into the truth. You're going to take a Negro out of this, this fake culture, give him his true nationality, and then you tell him, all right, cool, when we're going to have time to, quote, unquote, relax downtime, so to speak, we're going to put overtly put back a lifestyle of death that we came out of. Mm-hmm. How do you explain that as a teacher? Your blood is in whoever's pushing that. The blood is in your head, man. And um, the last precept that I have is uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. It says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. All right. To break it down properly, the first uh, heaven and earth is talking about a power. So it's not talking about a planet Earth being destroyed. The scripture states that the earth abided forever in Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. So it's talking about a new power being uh, being established on the planet Earth. Mm. Verse two, it says, "And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jer- New Jerusalem, coming down from from the from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband." All right. So what we're looking for is a New Jerusalem. Now you're not looking to go back to how we how we moved back in the '90s. Um, because the fruits of the children of the 90s is what we see out here. Gen, gen, I would say Gen X, you know, our age, you know, dudes are totally bugged out, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then the, the Gen Z, the generation that's coming after that, they, they had non binary, you got to call some of them they, them, he, whatever. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? saying? So, like, come on, man, well, we're gonna go back to the 80s when crack was in, crack was introduced. By those uh, uh uh by Edom Esau through the Colombians, we want to go back to the 70s when feminism that poison was introduced into our to destroy our people. We want to go back to the 60s when we were checking and jiving, a couple riots here and there, a couple couple so called Jew induced fake riots like mm-hmm. Watts riots. You keep going back and back, man. It's not everything that we lived. It's not it was not real, bro. It was a lie. It was all manufactured. It was psychological warfare. It was our enemies just having total control over who we are. So now you hope Ashkenaz is giving us what we were looking for. So we just got to, you know, we got to let all of this go. Let all of it go, man, and trust in, in the Lord. That's all we got to do. Yeah, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter, Shemaiwan said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, all right, which that goes into your faith, you know, and your works coped with it. All right. Because again, you could believe, but what are you what are you doing? Look around you. You know? And the re- this this won't apply to you if you keep staying if you are where you're at. It says in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. Yeah, how was I? That's important. That's also Ecclesiastes 7, if I'm not mistaken. A good name it says shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. I mean, come on. Immortality is on the table. Again, we've forsaken all and following your how This is what's on the table to gain. This is what you can have. Hey, can I say this out? My last words to the spirit. Because you know, Jake could see that, and uh, Jake could be like, oh, man. Man, y'all are taking it way too seriously, man. Come on, bro. You know how Jake is. Come on, Ooh, bro. Yeah. Y'all taking it away. Y'all being petty. Y'all nitpicking, man. Y'all taking it way too seriously, man. Ain't nothing we're having a little. But that's the problem with the, the men, F the women, when it comes to their situation. That's the problem with the men of the nation of Israel. We're not taking nothing seriously. We're not taking anything seriously. That's why the nations laugh at us. That's why Esau doesn't truly believe that we're a threat. Right? That why? Because he Esau studied us. Like, man, the Israelite man ain't he man, he ain't, he's just a effing boy, man. A revolution. He's a boy. 
You know what I'm saying? But the only reason why Esau has threatened because he sees that to to be engaged in a real warfare, certain the boys have to become men. And there's a certain spirit, certain souls that he's noticed throughout all these years that have continued to stay in a path that is clearly a threat. Meaning they're not staying in that boyish state of mind. You know, they're leaving the childish things behind and becoming men and just deciding that they're going to go through the hard path. Meaning they're willing to go through the hard path to have his ass dethroned by him, you know, out of this out of this uh, throne. You know, and those men are, are, are the elect, you know, and in this case, the hopeful elect, and we hope to be those men. But everybody else, all these different camps, man, they just, they're not, they're not contenders, man. They're pretenders, man. And the most side going to turn their lights off when this thing really hit the fan for real. Yeah, again, you got, you out there marching, there's 300 men. But if you, if you ask one of those 300 men, hey, can you explain this to me in the scriptures? He can't tell you. Or it's like, hey, I see you have this great faith out here. You, you marching. What do you do? What do you do uh, as far as teaching wise, you know? They can, none of them can do it. There's no, there's no, the, the, the work, the work is not there. That's when the Lord says, pray therefore for the, the laborers, mm -hmm. right? There's no, there's, those aren't laborers, all right? They're not doing what's need to be done for the name's sake. They, they say that you can't make the name a doctrine or the Hebrew a doctrine. But again, he ended with this. It says, but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. And where do you want to fall? That's what you got to ask yourself too. Where do you want to fall? You want to be first now? You have a horrible ending. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we want to give all praises to our power. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakah Kodash. Yahweh again is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son. Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm going to say Shalom to the elect out there. All right. And if you're in them other con other congregations, you better pray to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah that he delivers you and separates you and keep you safe from the uh, from the walking dead. All right. And uh, double honors to our elders and apostles. A great millstone. All right. Shalom. 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 Water, brothers. Just taking it all in.